Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today I wanted to share with you how do you import SVG files into Cricut Design Space and be able to add them all onto one mat when they come as separate files. Um, some of the various vendors, when you try to upload their files into Design Space, you uh, end up with all these individual files and you're not quite sure how to make that work for you. So let me show you. Um, it does take a few minutes, but it's worth your time to do this. And if you'll bear with me, I'll walk you through the process. So first of all, I am going to pick SVG Cuts uh, Company to show you their files. And because it's, they're a great example of wonderful SVG files. Uh, I, Leo and Mary do an awesome job over there of uh, giving us a great variety of SVGs that we can use and also they offer a whole, they have over like 300 free SVG files on their site. So uh, go over to svgcuts.com and you will see those and all the amazing projects they, they have. Anyway. One of the big things that everybody's been doing lately are those box cards. And the box cards are so adorable, but they come in a bunch of different pieces. So let me show you a little bit about how I go about getting ready to work on um, SVG files when I'm using Cricut Design Space. First of all, I'll go into the, my SVG folder, and here I have SVG cuts. I have all my SVG files set up in SVG files all folder and then I have each individual vendor uh, because I like to keep them that way. Anyway, so SVG cuts, I'm going to go into the box cards. Okay, when you import it in, it comes in as a zip folder with everything zipped up and this, and then you just right click it and you can unzip or extract all and it will open up a folder and then I delete the zip folder because I don't need that anymore. But, so with the box cards, when you click on this, you, you see that there are SVG files, and if we click on that, there's all the individual files for this particular um, product that I purchased from SVG for the box cards. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, six different sets of files. Within those files, there are multiple SVG files that work for that particular cut um, image. What I wanted to show you was that a lot of times, particularly with SVG cuts, they provide an awesome thing for us, and that is the box cards menu PDF. So look for that in any of your SVG files that you purchase to see if there is a PDF. The PDF is an amazing thing because it actually shows you the project plus it shows you the dimensions of what you need to cut each of those out. And uh, Mary Cowell over at SVG Cuts does, does these and they're amazing. And um, so for the box cards, it's an eight page PDF and it actually shows you each of the box cards that they offer. So like I said, there were there's six box, box cards total. So there's the floral box card, which looks like this, which looks like this, right? And then you can scroll down and you'll see all these other box cards. So then there's a box card for, for the hot air balloon box card, and there's a box card for the plain box cards. The plain box cards is what I use when I want to make my own box cards. So I want to use my own Cricut images and just use the actual box part of it and I don't need the embellishment part. This is very helpful when you have SVG files from a vendor. Look to see if they offer this because when you import these into design space, particularly for a box card, you want to make sure that you're getting the right dimensions. So on this section, like Mary says, for the floral box card, um, the, the finished box measures 2.75 inches wide and it's 6.25 inches high and it's 2.75 inches deep when it's standing, okay, when it looks like this. You will see that there's all these individual pieces. Each of these pieces on this PDF, Mary has already put on here exactly the measurements that we need to enter into design space so that when we import this SVG image in, we can set the dimension and then we never have to worry about it again. 
Then I would go into my SVG folder and decide which one of the cards I'm going to make. And we're going to work on the floral box card today. So as you can see, here are the individual SVG files for that particular file. Next, what we're going to do is we will go into Cricut Design Space, and I've logged into my account, and I'm going to create a new project. And to upload an SVG, you know that you are going to go into Upload Image, because it's not already in the machine, Cricut Explorer machine box. Um, and so you'll do it as a vector upload. What I wanted to show you was I have already uploaded all of all of these SVG files for this particular floral box card. I've already put them in here. All right. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve images in here already, and um, we're going to import the panel flaps interior. It's already in here, but I'm going to show you how would I add this if I was adding more images in. So I'm going to go into Vector Upload. And I will browse my computer. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> it takes a second. Oh, okay. So. I need to go to where I have my downloaded file, so I'm going to scroll through, and I'm going into my SVG Cuts folder, and I'm going into the Box Card folder, and just like I showed you a few minutes ago, Box Cards, I already have my PDF printed out, so I'm going into my SVG Files folder, and here I'm going to go into the Floral Box Card, because that's what I want to make. And I've already imported all these other ones in here, but what we're going to do is I'm going to import the Panel Flaps Interior SVG, so I'm going to double click on this. It'll bring it into Design Space for me. It automatically, um, the way that um, SVG Cuts has their files named, it's already named the shape of that image, so you don't have to rename them but you could rename it up here if you wanted to rename it. So in this space up here it says image name. If it doesn't show something up here or you want to call it something else you can type over this and add it in. In tags I always say that this is the floor I always add this tag here. Floral box card by SVG SVG cut no floral box card sorry Floral box card, SVG cut, and I want to put panel flat interior. Okay. Then I'm going to say save image. And what this has done is it has added it to all of my image uploads. Okay. So I showed you from this point forward, I had all of these already in here, and here's a bunch of other ones from different files I've done before. Um, now I have that panel flaps interior. It's added into my image set here. So that's how you get it in there. Now since I already have this one loaded, I'm going to show you how do you delete one. So if you accidentally delete too many, I mean you accidentally add too many of the same image, all you have to do is hover over the one you want to delete and in the right hand corner here there's a delete button. So you just click delete. It's going to come up and ask you do you want to delete it and say yes, please delete it. And now we're back to, it's removed that one, and I only have the ones that I wanted in here. Okay. Now, here's the next part. So now you've got them in here, and you could upload each individual one into onto a mat, like you normally would any image. However, I am able to go in, and I can add all of these images onto the same mat. Okay. So I'm selecting all the ones that go with this floral box card. Okay, so they're all selected. Let me make sure I grab this one. And yes, I have every one that goes to the floral box card. So I'm going to do insert images. Cricut Design Space is going to open up and it has added those images into my uh, Design Space map. 
and they all come in a cluster so don't freak out all you have to do is grab them and you know pull them off onto your mat so it'll just take a second to do that and you can kind of put them wherever you want I'm just putting all my flowers over here I'm just grabbing these and dragging them as you can see okay so now now comes how do you how do you uh, size these so that then they will actually fit into the dimensions that Mary had provided for us at SPG cut so I go back to the PDF and on the PDF it says if I go back to that panel flaps interior piece and I can hover over this and it'll um, let me know if it's the right one. So this is the panel flaps. You look in your in your layers panel and you can go through here and I want to do the panel flaps interior and let me just change the color of it so you know which one I'm working with. So so this is the panel flaps interior just like you do with any Cricut image you'll be able to go in and color these however you want them uh, using the color you know, selecting it the other one I'll make that one blue just so we know that those are two separate pieces and so this is the interior panel flap and this is the exterior panel flap so what I want to do is find on my measurements on the PDF um, for the box parts is the panel flaps interior needs to be 8.6 inches wide so I'm going to click on that edit and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put 8 Point six and hit enter and now it has sized that exactly what it needs to do I'm going to repeat the same process for all of these files and then what I'm going to do is save this okay so I'm going to put go into save and I'm going to call this uh, flower pop-up box test okay and I'll save it It'll take a second. It saves the file. Okay. So go to file. Go to open. And what I want to open is the one I saved that has all the correct measurements. So see how I said flower pop-up box card by SVG Cuts. That way I know that that is where it came from. I know that it is finalized file. I have it all sized correctly. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to say yes, please open. It will open up this project that I had saved, just like I did my test one that I showed you. And now all of these shapes are sized, the appropriate size for when I go to cut it. I've also color coded it so that it prints out by changing the color it'll print that way I'll know that I'm making the box card and you know I'm going to use pink paper for this one and green for this or whatever however you're going to color code yours so that when you go to put your paper on the mat it does it appropriately so that is how I get it all into one file I size it correctly I save the file and I name it so that then every time I want to use this file all I have to do is go in and find it in my save file folder and then I can always make this pop-up box card.